So now that you have downloaded Audacity and you have the version that is correct for your Windows, Mac, whatever type you are using, and you have also downloaded your AMX, or sorry, ACX, again, I am always getting that wrong. You downloaded your ACX check for your Audible series through Amazon. Then you have also enabled it as per the last video. I showed you how to do it. Please go back there, go under the plugins, enable that beauty. And now we're going to actually go over what settings you should be using while you're using Audacity so that about 90% of the time you're going to get it right. You don't even have to do that much editing. You're just going to hit the peaks, the lows. You're going to have the right settings so that you're not frustrated going, how on earth do they do this? And I tell you what, right now, my room, not soundproof. It's not a sound booth, but it works. And I pass the AMX check about 95% of the time. So let's get started. So this is Audacity. Audacity is a fabulous recording program. It looks a lot more complicated than what it is. Uh, I will be showing you, and it is going to uh, take a little bit of time, so I hope you've set across some time for this. Um, but I will be showing you what works for me, what settings I use. Um, so come along with me, do it step by step with me, and hopefully you will get the same results that I do, because there's no reason why not, right? So you've already downloaded your Audacity, you've already put in your ACX check, enabled it, and clicked OK. Right? Right. So this is video two. Now we're going to go through some of our lovely effects. I have not added or removed any plugins. All of these came with Audacity, and I didn't have to worry about it. So there are some that I have put in and I never really seem to use, so I'm not sure why we did this, but we did. So one of the things that you want to watch, and this is the reason why my microphone is at the 12 o'clock. So if it, my microphone was actually standing up right, it would be 12 o'clock. When it's hanging from its stand, it is six o'clock because it's hanging. Now, thing that you wanna watch up here is you wanna be between the minus um, 12 and the minus six sort of area when you're speaking. So let's make it record. And you'll see that generally when I speak, that lovely little tone right here is falling between minus 18 and minus six. And then with the peaks hitting in between the minus 12 and minus six, which is perfect. That is what we are looking for. You're going to go up and down. Sometimes it happens, especially when you enunciate things, you know, but this is what you're looking for. So you have to adjust your microphone to get this. That is the important bit. Adjust your microphone. There's nothing else you can do for this except adjust your microphone. So that is step one of what we want to do. So I'm going to stop recording this because you don't really need to see all that. So I'm going to click all, control A to get all right away. And I'm just going to delete this because that was just a little test. So it shows you where we want to be in between is the negative 18 to the negative six. So you can go a little bit above, a little bit below as you speak, but mostly you want to hit between the 12 and the six. These are the important peaks and valleys that you want to hit as a consistency. Now, when I come to effect, there are a few things that we want to look at. Um, now, the things, do, 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 where did we go to? I don't think we hit anything for distortion, really. Um, you can check that you are hard clipping, that you are at a negative six, the 50-50. And other than that, you should be okay. I don't really use distortion that much, um, but that is there. Another one that we go to is loudness normalization. Oh, <laughs> see, you have to have something in there so that it will actually do what it needs to do. So we're just going to put a little something there. We're going to press stop. Uh, see, it's just like a cassette deck. You know, record, rewind, fast forward, play, pause, stop all that. So we're going to grab some of this and just, you know, make it make it so that it is noticed by the program. Again, control all we're selecting it or you can select it with your mouse, you can right click and drag along. And we're going to go over here and we're going to go to loudness normalization. 
what you're going to do is you're going to change this to RMS and you're going to change it to minus 18 dB because this is the cutoff that Audacity wants is the minus 18. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. Make sure it says this and then you're going to keep that as your baseline. Okay. Another thing that we do, and we use this a lot, is noiseness reduction. So your noise reduction, you're going to go to 12 dB. Your sensitivity is 6. Your frequency is 0. And your noise is to reduce. Okay. I use the get noise profile a lot. And I will show you when we actually do an audio clip that this beauty is to weed out all your background noises, okay? But you have to have some background noise and that's part of the trick, which is coming up in the next video, which will help you to get where you need to be. All right, so we're just gonna cancel that, but those are your baselines that you wanna program into your program and you want to keep them. Next is actually right below, we're going to normalize. Normalize, we're going to check off the two, remove DC, offset center on zero, zero vertically, and normalize peak amplitude to 3.2 dB. Again, minus 3.2 dB is a, um, how shall I say this? This is something that Audacity wants. It wants as your peaks to be negative 3.2 is the max. So that's what they are looking for. So you have this and you're going to use this particular um, effect a lot so that you match what they want. Okay. So we're just doing the technical side at the moment. We're not going into, you know, uh, how to use specific voices or how to clean up stuff. We're just going into the settings at the moment. So this is the important stuff. Okay. So again, I don't use a lot of this. You might check your reverb and make sure that these are how, the same as mine. They should be. I think these are the factory settings, basically. Um, another great one is the Wawa. Again, I don't apply this hardly ever, but other um, pr um, narrators have found that they use this a lot. So these are the frequencies that I have chosen from their videos and I have set them in. Again, it's up to you if yours are different, if you want to change them or if you want to stay at the same. I don't use this setting that much but i do see that other people have i'm not really sure what it does now one of the other ones that is super important is limiter limiter again i use limiter each and every time so you're going to set a hard limit your input gain um you might have to play with these a little bit so mine just because of my voice is very sharp and this is the way I kind of speak. I have the four and the four and then the minus 3.2. Again, that's that limit to dB that Audacity wants. And then I put it as a 10. Now, some people put this as a 3.2. Some people put it as high as a six. You might have to play with a little bit. This again is according to your individual voice. Mine, I've put it as a four and that makes me happy. Apply makeup gain? No. So this is what we're doing for the limiter. And if I apply it, you can see this has changed. Pretty cool, eh? So there will be a lot of things that we will do. And those are the main limit ones. Then you have your analyze. And it's only that I need is the ACX. So once you've done those particular... Um, and again, go through this video, pause it, do each one, play again, pause it do each one, you know, copy them into your system. And basically you have the same settings that I do as of this moment. Okay. Now I've shown you how to set up your audacity for success. This means that you have got your settings correct so that the majority of the time you should be able to pass your AMX check. Now we're going to go through a sound test and we're going to do a little bit of a narration just so that you can find for yourself whether or not your settings are correct and you can start troubleshooting from there. So I'm gonna teach you the secret trick when you don't have a sound booth. And this will make your life so much easier. It's strange, it's true, it works. Look for the next video. In the meanwhile, share, like, subscribe,
hit the bell so that you don't miss the next video when it drops and you can learn the trick that works when you don't have a sound studio because I don't and yet my books still pass the AMX check so tune in and find out.